Okay, so we're back in a musical world. I just played this uh, a few minutes ago, and I really enjoyed it. Even though I don't know a lot of uh, popular music, really, and I think I don't think I was able to really correctly identify very many of them. And the ones that I did was kind of a guess. But uh, I, I, let's see how it goes this time. Maybe I'll be more familiar with them. Uh, unfortunately, Wikipedia is still down, which Wikipedia is the best place for figuring out who these musicians are. You look up the city, you go to the notable people, and it has a list of everyone who's either born there or raised there or um, was somehow connected to that city. Then you can click on the person and see um, when they last had a number one song or how many number one songs they've had, but unfortunately Wikipedia is down. Hopefully by the time this is done, Wikipedia will be back up and running. Um, but yeah, let's do a challenge three minutes per round once again. Link will be in the description. And let's see. Okay, so it looks like a non-American round here, so that's interesting. Because I think it's number one on the U.S. charts uh, is what it's looking for. So do we have enough yellow plates to be Columbia? Yeah, Medi oh, uh, Medellin, maybe it's um, Shakira. Okay, so Cali 50. And let's see, what's this say? Carrera 43, or is Gerardo, is that the street or the neighborhood? I don't know. So it's Cali 50 and Carrera 43, I think. Let's see, so Medellin. Okay, there's Cali 48, so here's... Okay, yeah, so 50 and Columbia, it's like an alternate name. So then 43, you gotta look for that. Carrera 43. Um, it's gonna be here, so we're there. Doesn't seem right. Maybe I'm in the wrong city. Oh no, we're here. I just got confused with the angles for some reason, or the direction. Yeah, so I'm going to assume that Shakira, she's the only Colombian musician I could think of that would have had a number one. I believe it's the US Billboard 100 that's going by. Anyway, um, is this just going to be LA or is it going to be a suburb of LA? I don't know. And, but there's tons of people from the LA area, so probably not going to figure out who this is. Uh, La Barca Drive. The signs look like the LA, the city of LA signs. I can't see the, um, the garbage bins here. Who knows if it's even a city name? I don't know. Uh, it's probably a dumb idea to go up the hill, isn't it? The busier street's probably down. Oh, wait. What if I just look? Uh, the trees are blocking it out. I was thinking maybe I could just look and see if I could see either downtown LA or Century City or something, but no. So I believe this is also where they're from, not where they live. Otherwise, there'd just be tons of, like, Calabasas and uh, Beverly Hills and all these places, but um, let's see. What's this one? Still lagging a lot, unfortunately. Van Alden Avenue. Okay, never heard of that. Maybe this one. Well, this is not a very big road either. I think it, it is LA, but I don't know. Oh, Brentwood School. Okay, Brentwood is a neighborhood. Um, let's just look for that. I think it's near UCLA. Yeah, it's over here. What was the road that I just saw the name of? The one we're on now? I don't even remember. Okay. Uh, I think it was on one of these signs though, wasn't it? Where did I find the name of this street? Okay. Van Alden Avenue. Uh, 
I don't know if that was, it might be a private school too, so who knows. I feel like California doesn't really like private schools though. It doesn't seem like something they'd be into. I mean, rich people obviously, but I don't know what their laws are with private schools. I mean, I assume they have some. Um, but yeah, but if it is a private school, that means that you could be quite a ways. Okay, there's the two campuses, but if, yeah, you could be quite a ways uh, away from it. Um, but yeah, we're out of time here, unfortunately, so I'm just going to stick it down there. Oh, okay, so is Tarzana. Um, that's a long commute to go to school. But, uh, and this is like a very, is there a road through here? I think you got to take Sepulveda here or the, uh, 405, which I think the traffic can get pretty bad through there, or the Topanga Canyon road here. But, uh, yeah, that's interesting. So yeah, I don't know who that, that is. Uh, maybe I'll be able to figure it out later. Hopefully Wikipedia is working. Okay, this looks like it could be Manhattan. Although, do the numbers get that high? 10th Avenue? Because 54th Street would be quite far south. Okay, yeah, there is a 10th. Uh, 51st, I mean, not 54th. Okay. So, I don't know who this is going to be. What neighborhood is this? Hell's Kitchen. Um, well, yeah, I'll look that up later. I don't know who's from there. Okay. Peabody Place and B.B. King Boulevard. Is that Memphis? Hey, B.B. King's a musician, isn't he? Oh yeah, there's Beale Street and there's a Memphis Grizzlies guy. Uh, I'm pretty sure B.B. King's like a jazz musician or something. Maybe blues, I don't know. I guess Memphis is famous for blues, right? Yeah, but um, obviously he's not the one that uh, this location is referring to. I actually don't know anyone from, well, Elvis, but like, well, Elvis isn't actually from Memphis, but I don't know anyone recent who's from there. So B.B. King is, oh, it's this one. Sometimes I have trouble there, and then Beale Street is there, so Peabody is there. Sometimes I have trouble when it's the, the yellow road on the map. I don't notice it as easily for some reason because that's not what I'm looking for. What is this thing anyway? I don't know. So we're there. I'll look that up later. Okay. Tappahannock. That sounds uh, kind of uh, New England. Maybe Massachusetts or something. Let's hope that we can get out of this crappy coverage. Yeah. Okay, maybe this road will be a bit better for clues. I don't know. It's not a Massachusetts plate. Oh, there's a highway number. Okay, 1007. Who uses circular ones? Uh, actually, doesn't uh, Kentucky uses circular ones and has four-digit um, highways, I think. But I don't know if these are Kentucky plates because it does look like that region. It doesn't really look like Massachusetts to me, despite that name that I saw there originally. Okay. Tappahannock is the place name, I think. History since 1608. So, I don't know. Um, sorry if I'm not talking much, I'm just focused here because I only have three minutes and I want to get this perfect. I know I don't have a perfect score overall anyway, but um, Okay, I, I'm just thinking like Connecticut, Rhode Island are way too small to need four digit highway numbers, aren't they? Maryland, DC, Virginia. Landover, Maryland. Could it be Maryland? Or maybe Virginia, who knows? Where's Landover anyway? 
I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that. I see four digit ones in Virginia. So I'm just going to assume Virginia and it was Tappahannock. So I wonder if it's just in the DC area, maybe. I don't know very many of these cities at all. Um, I wonder if I need to zoom in even more. Oh, they got those weird things where they're not, some of them are cities and some are not. I don't know, they, their city and county system is quite weird. Um, I don't remember what the highway number was, but it was like a thousand and four or something like that. But I think it's wise just to, oh. Oh shit, it was quite big. Okay, I was gonna, or at least it was visible on the map. I was about to say I should just stay up there near Maryland, but uh, actually this is near Maryland too though. What was the place on the sign? I mean on the truck? I mean I know trucks can travel quite a long ways obviously, but okay, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go look for who these people were, but overall my score was 23, uh, 24,375 and it was in just under 10 minutes. Okay, so Wikipedia is working again. Uh, the reason I'm in this weird browser, uh, Microsoft Edge, is because when I do Wikipedia in Chrome, when I click on the search bar, it pops up a suggestion that has personal information in it, and I can't get rid of it, which is really annoying. Anyway, so Medellin was the first one. I've already looked at this. It's some guy who I already forgot the name of. Uh, his name is J Balvin, who apparently has made a song with Cardi B and Bad Bunny. Uh, who apparently is a guy, I didn't know that, um, in 2018. So yeah, he's the one for Medellin. I think I said it was Shakira, who is from Colombia also, but I don't know if she's even from that city, who knows. Uh, the next one was Tarzana. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, I can't remember who it was. Oh yeah, Doja Cat. I just assumed it was her. I think she's probably had a number one song. Yes, this thing apparently in 2019, I guess. Yeah, so her for Tarzana. Then the next was Hell's Kitchen, Manhattan, uh, who I think was Alicia Keys. Uh, did she have number one song since 2003? Where's the US in this? Okay, the first one, 2006, I think it was. Okay, yeah, this one, so it's her. And what was next? That's the only one. Oh yeah, Memphis. Uh, this is gonna have a long list of famous people, but it has to be someone recent, so this might, might be harder to figure it out. I don't know who it's gonna be. I don't think I wanna go through all these. Okay, I don't wanna go through all these, uh, but like, I mean, there's tons of people it could be. It's just a matter of them being, uh, having that number one song sometime in, uh, in the last, what's that, 15, 16 years? So, tap, what's this place called? How do I get rid of that? Oh, fuck. Tapaha something, I can't read the rest of it because it's blocked out. Tapa Han Knock. There we go. Who's from there? Oh, Chris Brown. Okay. Um, now let's see if I can remember the ones that I got in the last game. So Compton, we already figured out was Kendrick Lamar, probably. Um, Fort Worth. I think I assumed it was Kelly Clarkson, but I'm not sure. Probably a lot of people. Oh, I like this one better. It's separated into music. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I'm spending so much time on this, but it's kind of fun. I like Wikipedia. So, yes, it was Kelly Clarkson. Um, what else did we get? Athens, Georgia. I think we figured out that it was probably REM, but I didn't think that they were... Uh... I didn't know that they had any uh, number one songs recently so let's see who uh, if it was actually them uh 
Um, unless if it was, if they're counting this one, what's this? AAA adult alternative airplay. I don't think it's that. So it actually might not be them. So this might take a bit longer, actually. So who else is from there? Let's see. Actually, quite a few people from there. Um, musicians, let's see. Okay, so I'm a singer. Okay, I don't know. So I'm just going to assume it's REM, but I feel like that's. I don't know. That seems like it doesn't work out with the their chart history there. So what else did I get? Uh, Lombard, Illinois. Um, founder of Plain White Tees. Who the hell are they? Oh, they're the one who made Hey There, Delilah. Okay, so that that's who that uh, was referring to. Um. What was the last city I had? Jamaica, Queens. It was actually South Jamaica, but I'll look at Jam Oh, there's going to be tons of people here. I think I said Nicki Minaj. That was my guess. But we also have 50 Cent. Has he done anything recently? Yes, but... Oh, that was a long time ago. Um, <laughs> how about uh, his actual music, though? What the hell? Do they not have... I don't know. Could be him. Who else is from? Holy shit, there's tons of people. Um, Donald Trump. Has he had a number one song? I don't know. Let's not worry about that. Oh yeah, it is Nicki Minaj. Okay, she's definitely had number one songs since then, so... Am I going to bother looking here, though? Yeah, this one. Okay, there we go. Uh, was that everything? Uh, Compton, was, we already figured that out. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. This been Okay, that got cut off weirdly there. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. It was kind of a weird video. I didn't... Uh, uh, do things how I normally do because there's a lot of googling after or Wikipedia searching afterwards and uh, yeah I didn't really stick with the theme of the map well kind of did afterwards but I didn't know a lot of the musicians from the places anyway or didn't know them before looking them up but anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video bye